Good evening, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy New Year. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com with 2018 Panini Donner's Optic Football. Uh, six box, random team break number six. This is the second half of the case. We did the first half last night. One spot gets you two teams. So let's uh, double up. Uh, uh. Like Sir Mix a lot. All teams are in. And let's randomize each list. Five and a three, eight times. Good luck, everybody. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got Brandon Thomas all the way down to Chad Stork. Five and a three, eight times for the teams. One, one. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got the Denver Broncos all the way down to the Jagu Wires. All right, Brandon Thomas, you have the Denver Broncos, Josh Turner, Niners, Chad Stork, Rams, Jared, you got the Patriots, Alex with the Titans, Mark with the Cowboys, Carlos with the Saints, Brandon with the Redskins, Robert Miller with the Falcons, Patrick, you got the Cards, Carlos with the Bengals, Greg with the Eagles, Alex with the Steelers, Sean with the Chargers, Moody, you got the Packers, Patrick with the Bills, JT with the Chiefs, Chad with the Vikings, Alex with the Texans, Eric Bailey, Panthers, Moody with the Jets, Sean Cole with the Giants, Eric Bailey, one of your last spot mojos, Dolphins, your other last spot mojo, my Raiders. Ravens for Alex, Greg with the Bucks, Robert with the Bears, Eric with the Seahawks, Mark with the Lions, Jared with the Browns, Chad Stork with the Colts, and the Jaguars. Let's alphabetize by team. Any trades? Trades are allowed in these random team breaks. Eagles Bucks for trade, says Greg. That's our that's it for Optic Football. I don't think we have any more. Do we have any more? So there's the final six boxes right there. One more. We may. I don't know what that's going to turn into. A random team break. A pick your team break. Is already is already on the site? No, it's not already on the site. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Mixer. Who knows? All right. Does not look like there's any trade. Sorry, Greg. No one's biting on that. So TWC trade window closed. All right, good luck. Jeremy Heller, I don't know if I could pull you a Dante Pettis because I don't think you're in this break. Unless you're Josh Turner in the Niners. All right, so there's random team six on a Friday. Good luck, everybody. All right, good luck. Oh, I see. You guys are cohorts. Gotcha. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can find you. Let's see if we can find you a Dante. Dante's peak.
All right, good luck, boys and girls. Nice, good teamwork, Josh and Jeremy. All right, now, unlike our, our baseball break, surely there has to be all sorts of NFL news leading up to wild card weekend. The stove for baseball has been kind of quiet. Um, Mahomes and Donald, Aaron Donald, highlight the AP NFL All-Pro team. GM, Lions GM saying Lions can win Super Bowl with, uh, with quarterback Matthew Stafford. Hmm. Really? Maybe. You gotta give him, give him, give him someone to throw to. Keep taking, away, taking away weapons from him. A Flacco, Joe Flacco, saying, "Quote: Not the most fun to back up Action Jackson." You don't say. Well, no one, no one wants to be someone who's been a starter that long, and isn't. It's not necessarily. It's not necessarily like at the end of his career or whatever. He's got still some years to play. Yeah, I wouldn't be happy too. Where does Joe Flacco go? He's certainly not staying with the with the Ravens. Where's a good spot for Joe Flacco? This is Jordan Wilkins at a 199. Matthew Bodner in the house. We got downtown Cam Newton. I guess that's what downtown Charlotte looks like. It's got planes. Old planes. It's got a, got a highway running through. It's got some panthers, some urns, that thing. Eric Bailey with the Carolina Panthers. What is that thing? Do we know what this is? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming this is an important part of the Charlotte skyline. I just don't know what it is. Is it like a space needle? But they've got these things, panthers roaming around that neck of the woods. I don't know if I'm going to go to Charlotte anytime soon with those guys running around. That's, that looks terrifying. There's Marshawn Lynch to 2 dollars there's, there's got to be people from North Carolina watching right now. What is that thing? I'm going to have to look it up after this break if I remember. <laughs> 99, Devonta Freeman. We've got, we're, we're a curious bunch here at Jaspi's Case Breaks. Sony Michelle. And we'll sleeve and top load all these before they get shipped out. Just in the interest of time, we're kind of breezing by those. Jeremy Heller says, I'd say that Joe Flacco ends up in Cincinnati. Time for Dalton to go. Well, with a new coach, we'll see. There may be some big shakeups there. Although, don't sign, Cincinnati, don't sign Hugh Jackson. He needs to be an offensive coordinator somewhere, not a head coach. There's Marquez Valdez-Scantling, 57 out of 75. Packers autograph going to Moody. Mike Kosicki to 99. I feel like I feel like Hugh Jackson good offensive mind but even great but I don't know maybe not maybe not head coach material. Hey, no worries, Jonathan Kent. I'm Vlad Guerrero Jr. That might, that's probably going to be the big name of the hobby next year. Wow. I didn't realize it sold for that much. It's not bad for a card numbered out of 25. Do 
see that? What's going on here? All right, so Patrick Mahomes, Silver Stacker, what's going on, Robert? Uh, Patrick Mahomes and three other Kansas City Chiefs made the Associated Press 2018 NFL All-Pro team on Friday, ladies and gentlemen. They were joined by the first rookie teammates since 1965. Colts left guard Quentin Nelson and linebacker Darius Leonard. L.A. Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald was the only unanimous choice in balloting by a nationwide panel of 50 media members who regularly cover the league. That's surreal, Aaron Donald said. It's a blessing. Wow. You see the hard work pay off. A lot of credit goes to my teammates and my coaches for pushing me and helping me. Mahomes, Mahomes saying Kansas City's second-year sensation drew 45 votes uh, at quarterback and was joined by teammates Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill, as well as Mitchell Schwartz at right tackle. Nelson and Leonard among four rookies on the squad, a first for the Associated Press team. Seahawks punter Michael Dixon and Charger safety Derwin James. Nice. Derwin James also made it. These are all these rookies getting into that all pro team, ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag good for the hobby. The last time rookies from the same team were all pros was 1965, and that was a not bad combo. Dick Bucket, Scale Sayers. I've heard of those guys. Nice. We'll we'll go through the the, the roster in just a bit. There's Justin Watson for the Buccaneers, early auto. Greg with the Bucks tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. 34 out of 35. Another down, from downtown, Cam Newton. No word in the chat on what that thing is. That must be a prominent part of the, the, the skyline. It's another one for uh, Eric Bailey and the Panthers. There you go. Speaking of Derwin James, there he is. Out of 299. Antonio Callaway to 149. Alex Collins for the Ravens to 299. Terrell Suggs for the Ravens to 99. Deion Lewis to 199. Dylan Contrell. To 149. All right, next box. Colts coach Frank Reich. No relation to, to Josh Reich. Or maybe. I don't know. Um, what's up, Brad? Uh, Frank Reich saying, these are the kind of guys who have the DNA, the makeup of everything we're looking for. All the intangibles, all the character qualities, everything about them. It's really a hard filter to get through to get marked that way. And both Quentin and Darius had that on their card. So that says something about their maturity and how fast we think they will develop. And, and already have developed. Bears also had four All-Pros, edge rusher Khalil Mack, cornerback Kyle Fuller, safety Eddie Jackson, punt returner Tariq Cohen. Two players made All-Pro for the fifth time, Houston Texans edge rusher J.J. Watt and Carolina Panthers linebacker Luke Keekley. Oh, brothers. Aw. Brothers were also voted to the squad. Chiefs Travis Kelsey and Philadelphia Eagles center Jason Kelsey.
The All Pro team had a split of 14 AFC and 14 NFC members. They were 16. There were 16 newcomers: Mahomes, Schwartz, Fuller, Jackson, Cohen, Saints wide receiver Michael Thomas, Packers left tackle David Bakhtiari, Eagles interior defensive lineman Fletcher Cox. Really, Fletcher Cox only his first time. Patriots cornerback Stephon Gilmore, Chargers defense back Desmond King, and special teamer Adrian Phillips. Jets kick returner Andre Roberts and the four rookies. Players with previous All Pro honors who made the 2018 team included Donald and Seahawk Aaron Donald and Seahawks linebacker Bobby Wagner, each for the fourth time. Mac Cowboys right guard Zach Martin, Ravens kicker Justin Tucker, each for the third time. Hill Rams running back Todd Gurley and uh, wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins. This is our second time. All right, next box. Good luck. Got Ronald Jones the second to ninety nine. Terrell Suggs to one ninety nine. Durham Smythe to two ninety nine Dolphins. Nice trio for for Brandon Thomas and the Broncos to twenty five. And your autograph is for my Raiders, Marcel Aitman. Good high leg kick there, Marcel. Eric Bailey, last spot mojo, Raiders. Deion Kane for the Colts out of 199. I know that picture always cracks me up too. The high leg kick. Like they couldn't find anything else for Marcel Aitman. Matthew Stafford to 199. Terrell Suggs to 149. All right, next box. Good luck. Yeah, maybe Dancing with the Stars for Marcel Aitman. Although he did it, he did all right for the uh, for the beleaguered Raiders wide receiving core towards the end of the season. He started getting some time, started making some plays here and there. Could be an interesting option next year. Yeah, uh, I, Wilton Guerrero, Jonathan Kent, I missed your comment earlier. Yeah, Wilton Guerrero was Vlad Sr.'s brother. I think v Wilton Guerrero made a stop in uh, in L.A. with the Dodgers for a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. He was a solid player, but, you know, it's like, it's like Seth Curry and Steph Curry. <laughs> There you go. Wilton did Dodgers, Expos, and Reds. Okay, Reds I didn't realize. We are halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just drop the schedule in the chat really quick for those of you who are just joining us for watching live. So we should be done with this in about another, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so. Is that Bowman Draft Mixer sold out yet? It is, okay. 
So that'll happen after this, and then after that, I don't know what's sold out after that. I'll have to, I'll have to go through orders. There's DeAndre Hopkins to 50. There he is, all pro. And we've got Mike White, rated rookie autograph for the Cowboys. That'll be for Mark Matheson. Seventy-four out of ninety-nine. There's Vita Vea for the Bucks out of two ninety-nine. Trey Quinn. These aren't numbered, but there they are. Jamal Moore to one ninety-nine. Alex Collins to two ninety-nine. Richie James for the Niners to 50. And thank you, Hilton, TY to 199. There's Quentin Nelson, all pro. All right, two boxes to go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday already, which means that the NFL playoffs are now upon us tomorrow on ABC ESPN. The first game, the early game, will be uh, Indianapolis at Houston. Who does everyone have in that game? Indianapolis at Houston. 1.30 my time. 1.35 my time. 4.35 on the East Coast. Indianapolis at Houston. According to uh, according to ESPN.com, their matchup predictor using the ESPN's football power index. The Colts are 38.7% chance to win, and the uh, Texans have 61.3% chance to win, according to them. The spread is currently plus 1.5 for the Colts, minus 1.5 for the Texans, over under 48.5. I think this is going to be a close one. Jonathan Kent says, I want Houston to win, but I would say the Colts end up winning. Taylor is saying Houston 24-21. So winning by by just a field goal. Jonathan Kent wants Houston to play so they oh to win so they play the Patriots. Oh, you don't want to see you don't want to see the Colts? And the Patriots would rather see the Texans as well. This is gonna be a close matchup. I read a stat somewhere. Let me see if I can find that quote. I read a stat somewhere. Or listen to a podcast or something like that. Since 2005, home favorites minus three and a half or less. So minus three, two and a half, two, one and a half, one, half, and zero. Are one, eight, and one against the spread. There's DeAndre Hot. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? I mean, it doesn't really mean anything in the end. The trends could all be different, but... Home favorites, since 2005, home favorites minus three or less are one, eight, and one against the spread. Texans are minus one and a half. There's Simi Cobbs Jr. I don't know what the logic is behind that. I wonder why. Like in a general sense. There's Kyle Laletta right up there in the corner, rated rookie autograph. Going to Sean Cole in the New York Football Giants. 71 out of 75.
Jonathan saying Texas Texans D can be lit up. This is true. I think their run defense is pretty good for obvious reasons. J.J. Watt. Not too good against the pass, which is the thing the Colts can do well. Phillip Rivers to 399. Austin Prohl to 149. Vic Beasley Jr. to 199. And Baker Mayfield, nice season for him. Is this your offensive rookie of the year, Baker Mayfield? That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. He's already been good for the hobby. Oh, we need a monster out of here. These, these have just, just been okay. Some nice downtowns. We need a... We need a Baker Mayfield out of here. Come on, second half. Jeremy Heller's thinking Saquon Barkley. It's got to be one of those two. Saquon Barkley or Baker Mayfield. Ah, that's a good point. You're right. He should have played the entire season. Taylor is saying... I hope Baker wins it. If he played the whole year, I think he'd be a lock. I think so, too. In fact, you guys think that if Baker Mayfield started uh, started game one and if there was no Hugh Jackson, <laughs> you think, think the Browns could have been in the playoffs this year? I think, so. I think they could have been. Should have been, could have been, would have been. Jeremy says yes. Taylor says for sure. I mean, that's how well. That's how much talent they've accumulated over the years via draft, and that's what that's what a good quarterback can do. He's got some good pieces around him. He has, uh, you know, like you, got, you you need the weapons around any quarterback for their success. You know, football has to be the ultimate team sport. All right, good luck, everybody. Last box. Good luck. Quentin Nelson, there he is. All pro Quentin Nelson to 99. And from downtown, Lamar Jackson, Alex Carmichael, and the Ravens. Let's skip ahead to Sunday really quick because we got Lamar Jackson out here. Chargers at Baltimore in a very early game for the West Coast Chargers in Baltimore. It looks like that. That's what downtown Baltimore looks like. Got an old tree, got some Edward Allan Poe busts sitting around. Quoth the Raven, nevermore. A lot of candles, apparently. That's what it looks like. Who's got that, who's got that game? Ravens? Ravens got a great defense, but so do the Chargers. Christian Kirk to 199. So I guess it would come down to the, to the offenses. Which offense unlocks which defense? Jordan Akins at a 299 for the Texans. Derrick Henry at a 299 for the Titans. Deshaun Watson, we'll see him this weekend to 299. We'll see him tomorrow. Leonard Fournette to 149. And our final autograph is for the Fly Eagles Fly. They'll be facing Chicago Sunday afternoon, Sunday late game. That's Dallas waiting for Godare. 
Dallas Goddard. 54 out of 75. Nice. That's for Greg and the Eagles. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was the second half of Donner's Optic Football. I think we have one more case sitting in the back. Maybe a picker team, maybe a random team. I'm not, I'm not sure. But keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll break with you next time. Bye-bye.